Hello, my fellow soul gardeners. Christopher Wataki here, your friendly neighborhood astrologer. I have just recorded a new series for Soul Nirvana called Uranus in Aries. This is a powerful time, folks. Uranus has entered into Aries for the first time in 86 years. Big changes. And I've recorded a special series available in Soul Nirvana that's going to talk about the history of Uranus in Aries, define Uranus, define Aries, and define what it will do for you in the next seven years. I also retroactively define what Uranus was doing in Pisces in the last seven years, and I provide a video that helps you translate your rising sign and your sun sign. So if you've yet to ascend into our premium video channel, Soul Nirvana, come on down and check it out. It's at soulnirvana.com. Hello, my captains, and welcome to Friday. It's fine that Friday. Well, that's it. Overcast, thunderstorms, chance of fear and anxiety for the Capricorns today. There's definitely a lot of spiritual turbulence. It starts with the moon. The moon is in Sagittarius. So your past, your weeds, your fears, they're getting stirred anyway. So you are kind of emotionally in the past, maybe hung up in your pits of despair, whatever that is. When we get caught into deep, kind of uh, retraction, we take step back from the world and we fall into these little pits, these pits of the past or worry or just emotion we don't understand, that's the moon in Sagittarius for Capricorns. That is when the moon is in the 12th house. But today there might be a breakdown. No matter what's going on with you and your past and your karma, it's not really about that, says the planets. It's about how well you nurture yourself. And today there will be breakdown. We've got major Uranus action going on across the board. The sun ruled by Uranus today. Uranus conjuncting the sun while it's ruled by Uranus. Mercury in chapter 3, Jupiter in chapter 2, major Aries breakdown. Now for Capricorns, this breakdown will be with a self-nurturing issue. Could be a breakdown in a relationship to a roommate. Could be a breakdown with your landlord. Could be a breakdown with yourself. Could be your body breaking down because you've been working too hard and haven't been taking care of yourself. Could be a breakdown with a family member, someone who's supposed to be taking care of you, and here you are taking care of them. Somewhere, their breakdown will be either from last night until Saturday morning around your ability to self-nurture. And it could just be you with your own weeds, with the moon in Sagittarius, you collapsing and panicking and breaking down. The point is to break through. On Saturday, there should be understanding and breakthrough, Saturday and Sunday. An understanding of, ah, I can't live with this person. Ah, I can't treat myself this way. Ah, I can't let myself fall into this pit of despair when the moon is in Sagittarius. But there is breakthrough on Saturday. And on Sunday, there is going to be healing and repair. So it's a tough weekend, folks. It's a breakdown through repair weekend. The moon will move into Capricorn on Sunday, but I think you'll be still a little cloudy and gloomy because the moon will be crossing over Pluto. And that, of course, is you letting go of emotional attachment, emotional baggage, or ego areas. So your ego might be feeling defensive after all these breakdowns. It's a good logical kind of conclusion. By Monday, though, things all lighten up and the moon moves off of Pluto. So if you're having a real hard weekend, just make it till Monday. Now, it is Friday, so we've got Astro Gossip with DJ David Palmer and myself. We're going to talk about this week's headlines, the celebrities, the politics, and what the planets have to say about all of it. So don't miss David and I. This is a fun show, and we're live everywhere the garden is blooming. All right, Captain, that wraps up the weekend forecast. Good luck with the breakthrough, and I'll see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So God.